Hey everyone, this is Major Batman here, bringing you version 1.03 of the Kid Enhancement Toolkit. In my previous versions, there was an issue that you might have noticed, and I'm going to show it here. I am really mad right now. So even though he's supposed to be mad, he doesn't look mad. So uh, how can we fix that? So I've added these pause expressions in 1.02, so I can change it so that the XX or the pauses in between add an angry face to it. So I am, I can add an X there, maybe start with an XX, and that's going to add that angry expression in the pause. And then for the polygon kids, I you can mess with the eyebrows, and so we can do this and make it uh, anger. When we do this, we can make sure it's the right length, and then generate. I am really mad right now. And I think that that looks rather rather good. So what I've done is I've added this eyebrow uh, functionality into the emotions. allows you to mess with the eyebrows and change it so we can change it to uh, sad if we want. I am really mad right now. I am really mad right now. And so it really allows you to change change these the aspect of that animation as you see fit. Um, I've also added these uh, animation length and audio length uh, indicators here, so you can quickly see how long it is. Because I think in previous videos you saw me go in and seeing how long that the WAV file was and trying to line it up perfectly. And so this allows you to do this. I also added this box here for show phoning. So one thing is that I I, ha I originally had this as just a, a thing that you could toggle in the hierarchy, but I think by adding a button on here to show you what the f different phonemes are and what the sound is, I think that'll help uh, help you maybe configure your own if it doesn't quite line up or if, um, or if the dictionary doesn't grab the right syntax for you. Uh, so at the moment, the eyebrows are kids only because for the for the males. Um, it's just one big eyebrows, so it's a little difficult to get that. So another thing I did, I added a way to um, immediately configure who this kid was. So if you just drop a character in there, it's going to detect the first object that has an animator component, and it's going to immediately call it here. So no longer do you need to drag it to your hierarchy and then drag it over to kid. It's going to detect that automatically, which is kind of cool. And then uh, last, uh, one thing that I did add is this change in motion standalone script. So this is now required to be on the animator component to tie into for these eyebrows. But the nice part is if you wanted to, you could just, you could change his default expression. So I can make it frowny. And so when he starts up, he's going to be looking like he's sad. See? A sad face and so this allows you to have your background NPCs you just throw this script on there you just toggle whatever the default expression is so if you want that angry kid um, or if you just want a, a crying kid running around in the background you can have it without much issue at all so that's version 1.03 I hope you enjoy it please let me know if you have any comments join my discord so we can talk about it uh, I, I provide updates on on the next features that I'm working on and uh, Thank you for watching.